Wildlife seems to be everywhere, but no two species are the same. Pick two random animals across the globe from one another, and you might see some similarities, but for the most part, they're going to be drastically different. However, some behaviors stick out to be almost universal. Like almost all animals of prey have some ability to hide from the predator. Insects are definitely no exception. They already have that small size advantage and so many of them require you to take a closer look. And today we're going to be talking about a critter that might just be the master of disguise. Hey guys, it's Dan from Pinpoint Wildlife. Um, today we have kind of an interesting critter, something I don't come across a lot. Um, luckily my grandma is the plug. And she found a walking stick insect. She saw it on the window and she's like, Danny, check this out. I need to show you. And I'm like, oh my God, yeah, I'm gonna do a video. So here it is right here. Wait, hold up. Are you gonna tell them what happened? Oh yeah, my foot's broken again. But the other one this time. Um, long story short, it was skateboarding. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what to say anymore. Let's just move on with the video. All right, guys. So the walking stick insect, or stick bug, or whatever you want to call it. Um, this one's called the northern walking stick insect because it's from uh, here in Wisconsin. And you can find them all over North America. There's all different species of walking sticks all around the world. There's like big ones in Indonesia, all different colors. There's like blue ones. They have just a body plan that works and it's worked for millions of years. And you know, I can really see why. They're so cryptic. And even when he's just walking around my arm, you can see how he sways his body side to side and really mimics a branch. That, that's some insane biomimicry right there. And yeah, he's just swaying side to side. Uh, once he reaches the top of the branch or wherever he wants to like perch himself, he just he hangs out his two forearms or one of them, whatever he wants to do, and he just lets them sit there motionless. And he just he just chills. And if you're able to spot one of these things on a branch, that's pretty it's a pretty good eye. You're pretty insane for actually finding one of these because they just have such amazing camouflage. So I have no fear holding this uh, walking stick insect because they're not venomous. Oops. And they're, for the most part, pretty defenseless. Um, I actually wouldn't recommend everybody to, or any kids to like hold one of these because they're really fragile and they can easily just, you know, drop a leg. They can, most of them can grow their legs back, but that's, that does take a while and provides them with some difficulties in the wild. So just be really gentle when you're, when you're working with one of these guys. So they do have feet that are like curled like this, like hooked almost. And they have that so that when they're upside down or when the branch is really windy, boom, look at that. They can hang on upside down perfectly fine and it's not even an issue for them. So they can really handle a windy day. So they used to think walking sticks were relatives to grasshoppers and prey mantis. They're actually not. So what exactly are these things? Walking sticks belong to the order Phasmatodia, which is often referred to as phasmids, or my personal favorite name, ghost insects. I mean, come on, is that not the coolest name for a bug? So within this order, you'll find things like this, common little stick boy, and then you'll find things like this, which is a little more intimidating, and then you also find things like this, which is more of like a leaf bug almost. Now. Our walking stick is known as Dia Ferramera femorata, which I'm probably butchering, but that's the scientific name of the northern walking stick. First and foremost, let's take a look at the head, and you'll notice some weird, really strange moving mouth parts. And these moving mouth parts are called mandibles. These are the same mandibles you'll see in the stag beetles with those big pinchers, but they chose to eat plant material instead, so they have these small, little precise mandibles. So our walking stick friend is strictly vegetarian. The babies are typically eating sassafras, raspberry, and black cherry leaves, where the adults are gonna be eating rose, apple, and oak leaves. Now I wouldn't consider them a pest insect because they're not really taking down numbers of trees like other insects, but I would keep it in mind that they do eat these leaves off these trees. Now another really strange thing about these walking sticks is they can reproduce sexually with a male and a female, 
or they can reproduce asexually with just the female and the unfertilized egg and it can just develop fully and it's really weird. Several species of walking stick will lay eggs under leaves that mimic seeds of the local vegetation. And that's why I said this thing is the true master of disguise. Like I said before, their body plan is very successful. You'll find members across all different continents, everything besides Antarctica, but they do seem to be most abundant in tropical or subtropical environments. You can even keep them as a pet as long as you have lots of vegetation in their form, a five to 10 gallon enclosure, the tall way, and some decorations where they can hang upside down for molting purposes. So if you do wanna go for it, they grow pretty fast and they make a really cool display insect. So go for it, just make sure to do your research. All right guys, so the northern walking stick is now checked off our species checklist. Um, I hope you guys like this one, it was a little more unusual, a little bit more oddball than uh, my last few videos, but uh, really cool to talk about nonetheless. And um, yeah, that's that's the northern walking stick. If you, if you like this one, make sure to check out our last species checklist video, and check out my Instagram, check out my girlfriend's Instagram, you can check out uh, the Pinpoint Wildlife Instagram. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and, uh, you know, do something new. C catch yourself a bug. Ah!